and welcome back to my channel today we're checking out october 17th patch notes i'm actually a little late to the game that was yesterday for me um uh, but we're gonna get to them i'm very excited i'm very excited i'm very excited for the patch notes okay so the servers were down on october 16th to the 17th right there um so we got brand new content. Aurora Seasons Immortal War is now available. So you guys can uh, start grinding <laughs> so that you can get the bubble gear flag, bow legendary skin, faded shadow, background icy peak, grandmaster, and then of course all of the peerless treasure choice gifts. So those are all the little things. And of course your avatars, I believe you guys get those as well for everything um players who make it to top 500 in immortal war will enter the immortal war leaderboard whoop, 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 whoop. and then the top three players of the last tally will be awarded exclusive hero badges which is pretty cool you guys can get those acolytes i know people are going to be grinding that and um a brand new event coming in divine light event time from october 17th so when this update goes live till october 30th so it's kind of short um event rules by completing daily quest players can obtain uh syra's token i i think i don't know if that's gonna be how you say your name i apologize uh grail temperance sun and fate and have an additional chance to obtain one of the following rewards tay spectral silk mythic treasure peerless treasure choice gift hero coin legendary trial card and aurora coins um, there are four sections which can be unlocked with the corresponding tokens and you can claim rewards by unlocking any of the four sections. That means that October 31st, Halloween, we're getting a new character, <laughs> I'm assuming. <laughs> hero adjustments for kyrin slightly increase the charging and pulling effect of the charge move in the ultimate Ki uh, killing slash adjusted the damage multiplier of the horizontal strike in ultimate killing slash rent from 2.5 uh, to 1.5 and the damage multiplier of the charge move wrath slash from 2.8 to 3.0 so he's Okay, so this is the buff, and then this one is buffed a little bit. So, a little bit of balancing going on there. Slightly increase the charging time and recovery frames required to release the charge move Wrath Slash in the ultimate killing slash rent and slightly reduce the charging distance of Wrath Slash. Slightly delayed the timing of jump and dodge. Cancels for the horizontal strike in the ultimates killing slash and killing slash rent and slightly increase the recovery frames of the skills raiders touch for valda the binding of enemies by the water bubble of the skills water trap and water trap trinity will no longer be interrupted by grappling hook attacks Ooh -hoo -hoo! and adjusted the defense focus during the charging of the skill water trap to gold focus Ooh, valda getting in some buffs as if she's not already a menace <laughs> Hottie adjusted the initial rage cost of the ultimate aerial ascent um, from 40 to 60. So quite a bit of a buff there after releasing the ultimate aerial ascent and aerial uh, ascent blaze. Even if the ultimate is deactivated early, rage will still not be gained for 15 seconds starting from the ultimate uh, from when the ultimate is activated. Enhance the visual effect of mechanical cube from the devs of why this is uh we hope this limits the phenomenon of hottie creating too many mechanical cube items by frequently deactivating his ultimate early we also enhance the cues of mechanical cube to all sides of the battlefield so little bit of adjustments there for the weapon adjustments this week for katana slightly reduced the startup frames of the horizontal and vertical strike of thunder strike which had previously i believe been changed a little bit um for great sword optimize the melee auto aim of the charge horizontal strikes for spear fixed an issue where the player could be knocked back too far away in the air after being hit by uppercut slash for dagger optimize the effect range of charge vertical strikes and for nunchucks slightly increase the startup frames of dragon flurry and dragon roar moves adjusted the damage multiplier of the final stage of dragon flurry from 0.38 um 5 to uh, 0.4 
three point five times five. Uh, there's the nerd stats there and adjusted the damage multiplier of the final stage of Dragon Roar from 1.28 to 1.53. So all of these getting some buffs for the fist blade delayed the timing at which moves can be performed after wild sweep. And for dual blades, optimize the melee auto aim of the charge horizontal strikes. All right. <laughs> Soul Jade adjustments. Katana Soul Jade slightly reduced the stagger time inflicted on enemies hit by the final stage of attack of swift cut. <laughs> Range Soul Jades adjusted the upgrade. <laughs> Range Soul Jades adjusted the upgrade effect of Switch Dazzle to increase attack for a period of time after hitting enemies with Switch Dazzle and increase the duration from three to six seconds. That's a lot. Um, In-game adjustments, Immortal War adjustments in um, duos and trios modes of Immortal War. Draco Storm has been added to the Spirit Well rewards, which last for 120 seconds. It's, oh, this is like the worst one ever. It's so mean. Um, out of game adjustments, personality tag adjustments. Personality tags will now be displayed on player profiles. Updated a large number of personality tag options. Optimize the personality tag editing page to improve a usability. Event reward adjustments. Um, the redeeming limit of small tay strings and the R. RA uh, gra gravel event has been increased to 499 times. The event will end. Uh, oh, so instead of 300, right? I think on October 20th. So we still have a few more days, like four more days and everything. Um, showdown adjustments, burial giant stage adjustment. So the lightning spear will appear after entering the level. You need to defeat the enemies on the platform to accumulate energy for it. Once it reaches full energy, you can interact and use it. If the spear misses the Omni Core, the energy will not be consumed. Optimize the scene and process flow in this stage. Newly added countering tips for some moves. Nerides Ruin adjustments modify the appearance requirements of the Nerity Codex related to Divinity Guard. Enigma's domain adjustments added some new scout bells in the Enigma domain, Shadow Jade Mine, and Enigma domain Celestra. Uh, omen adjustment the Yamas Abyss uh, Ice Mount Omen me mechanism has been changed to be immediately attackable by players, and the initial attack cooldown ha um, time has been removed. Feature adjustments. The quality of Shrouded Jade and Flux Jade Shard has been adjusted from Epic to Legendary to better match their value and adjustments to quality will not affect drop rates. For bug fixes, we've got fixed an issue where Tarka G um, w could directly start sprinting when standing up from a crouch in the ultimate status. Console-related bugs fix an occasional crash when loading scenes in free training mode on Xbox platform, as well as fixing water rendering issues in the Hero interface for the ps platform performance optimization playstation platform texture streaming has been optimized improving the frame rate while playing in portions of in-game maps for the store we've got the new packs let's go we've got xyle legendary everything and the oh, good lord it's beautiful look at it look at her the neon pink the purples the fat oh 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 give me mm. And then we got Karoom Room also coming in. Ah, I love it. I love it. All of the, 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 just the gods of death coming in. Beautiful, beautiful, amazing. Um, new discounts added for everything new that is coming in between Zai and Karumi. There's going to be tons of cool stuff. We already reacted on all the things and I hope you guys are excited for all the new things to come. Is there not a new game mode? I, in my brain, I totally thought we had a new game mode for the scary scaries. I guess not. Maybe as the month goes on, I believe there's going to be more than one part of this. Is kind of what it seemed like by the trailer that there's going to be more Gods of Death. So I guess we'll see that come. If you guys enjoyed the content and like staying up to date with all the Naraka news, make sure you like and subscribe. Let me know down below if you guys are going to be picking up some of these Gods of Death skins. And um, also check out, I should be doing some playthroughs soon. And if you want to keep up to date with everything live, go check out my Twitch. Thank you so much for hanging out and I will see you guys in the next one.